Seated in this hall are medical practitioners drawn from far and wide to mark a milestone in the 19-year history of the Institute of Human Virology in Nigeria. The chief executive officer of the institute, Dr. Patrick Dakum, with a theater room laser precision, minces no words in stating the need for partnerships if Nigeria is to meet its health needs soon. For us, the Institute of Human Virology uh, brings an addition in the healthcare delivery system in Nigeria that will play complementary roles uh, to what the institutions that provide the policies and framework are doing. Our goal is not to compete. Our goal is to complement and enable a synergy that will enable Nigeria move forward in its healthcare care delivery program. What we are doing, which is very different from a number of institutions, is we are saying that we want this to be a collaboration. So let's have one top of the notch infrastructure that allows research to be done in a collaborative manner. <laughs> Day two begins with a captivating and scintillating cultural display for the gaily dressed guests, after which the moment all are gathered for. We are now in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I think it's something that has come at the right time to deliver the kind of assistance that Nigeria will continue to require. We had a vision uh, for an institute that would be a Nigerian Institute Center of Excellence that would be focused on contributing to the solution of the major health problems of Nigeria. The managing director of the institute, Dr. Charles Mensa, further highlights the importance of collaboration. The major focus of the science building is to foster collaboration between Nigerian scientists and international scientists to be able to start looking at uh, how diseases are managed, uh, what causes those diseases, and how we can bring resources to bear on the mitigation of these diseases on our general population. The Institute says it has since inception provided HIV prevention and treatment services to more than 17 million individuals, as well as tuberculosis treatment and care to more than 235,000 individuals in the country.